What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack at Vaping Insider. Today, we're going to be going over an RDTA. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've done an RDTA, so let's cut down low. Let me show you everything about the Thunderhead Creations Max RDTA. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. You can see I got the gunmetal one. One thing I really like about Thunderhead Creations, I like their packaging. I like the fact that they put their stuff in these little sacks and tubes. It's kind of neat, man. It really is. They do a nice job with their packaging. You get a bunch of spare O-rings, a chimney extender, some spare deck screws. You get a bunch of squonk pins of different length because you can extend the size of the tank, which I'm going to show you the one that I'm using later on in the video. I put the extension on. You get a Phillips head screwdriver that is rather nice. This is your RDTA. This is your 13 millimeter extension glass. I like the way Thunderhead Creations packages their stuff, man. They, they just do a really nice job. There's the extension glass right there. You need to use the chimney extender in order to run this glass. All right, and that'll make sense in a minute when I show you the RDTA. Here is the RDTA, again, in this nice little metal tube. Another nice thing that Thunderhead Creations does is See that? It's on its own Addy stand. So that's kind of cool. If you need an Addy stand, you can just keep this off the tube and you can screw an Addy into that. Really nice gunmetal. I mean, look at that drip tip. That drip tip is just gorgeous. Branding, that's pretty subtle. It don't bother me, all right? You can see we got bottom airflow. We got side airflow with honeycomb, all right? I'm going to take this off the stand. I'm going to break it all down for you in a second. You can see the shorty glass, right? You can see that's the shorty glass. But this thing is also squonkable. So some people might want to leave it in shorty mode, you know, because especially if you're going to run it on a squonker, you might want that lower profile. Gorgeous, gorgeous drip tip. I mean, check that out. Goon style drip tip. All your other drip tips should fit fine in there. You can see the O-ring on the inside, all right? Definitely a snug fit, but once you get some juice on there, it'll loosen up a little bit. Top cap comes off like so. Okay, there's the deck. We're going to go over that in a second. Let's go over the top cap for now. You can see a semi-conical design. You can see these plugs right here. They, they do two things. They plug up your juice fill port, and they also lock the barrel in place. So nice job on that, all right? Let's pop this thing open. Let me show you what we're talking about here. See? There's your airflow adjustment right there. You can see it steps down, all right? So kind of cool. There it is, wide open. Nice cuts, nice machining, nice knurling over here. You can get a really good grip on it. I like that. And now you can see the conical design a little better. As far as the barrel section goes, there's your honeycomb airflow right there. There is your bottom airflow. Now, they work independent of each other. You can either run both airflows open for a super airy vape, or you can shut one down or another, or you can run them in combination. Keep the bottom halfway open, the top fully open, vice versa. Whatever way you want to mix it up, you can do that. Look at the thickness, man. Nice thickness on the barrel. Really, really nice machining. Loving that gunmetal. They did a nice job on this as far as build quality goes. So here's the deck, like a Y-shaped deck, right? Kind of unique, right? I'm going to tell you why. It's almost like a reverse drop deck, right? Instead of dropping your coils in from the top, what you're doing is you're sliding them in from the bottom. Your leads are going to point out here, and you just give it a haircut, wick it up, and you're ready to go. Now, here's the bottom airflow right here. Obviously, the side airflow is going to come in from the side here, but right here is the bottom airflow. There's the chute for the bottom airflow, okay? If you look inside, you can see, I'm going to take it apart in a second, but you can see the, the, the squonk section. I'll show that to you in a minute. 
Here are your two fill ports right here that get plugged up when you put the barrel on. Here are your wicking ports right here. You just dip your wicks into there. Okay, right here, these are hex keys. Okay, and you just open them up just like that. All right, let me show you the bottom of this thing and let's take this thing apart. On the bottom, you can see we got a gold plated 510. This is in non squonk mode. All right, we're going to put it in squonk mode in a second. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We're also going to keep it in shorty mode, though, all right, because I already got one in tall boy mode. In order to take this thing apart, you just screw off the bottom base just like so, okay, and it just comes off just like that, all right? Again, really, really nice machining. Very, very impressed with the machining. Now, you can take their flathead screwdriver that's provided. I think I mistakenly called it a Phillips head in the beginning of the video, but it is a flathead. You take that out right there, just like so. Keep your finger on the deck, and it comes out like that. Now, what you want to make sure you do before you swap out the pin, make sure you take this peak insulator right here, take it off the original pin, and put it on the squonking pin. Don't run this without the peak insulator. Safety first. You want that squonking pin with the peak insulator. And you can see the hole right there for squonking. Okay. Once that's installed correctly, again, keep your finger on the deck and just push this thing in and screw it down. Now you can see there's a flathead cut out right there. So you can use the provided flathead screwdriver to install the squonking pin. Okay, just please make sure you put that insulator ring in there, all right? That's very, very important. Okay, and there you go. Now it's installed. And now let me show you. See right there? See that little slot right there? That's where your juice is going to drop down from when you squonk. Okay, so now it's in squonk mode. Now in order to reassemble it, we take the base. And there's a lot of threads, so just spin it on there just like that. Make sure you tighten it down nice, nice and tight. And now it is in full squonk mode. Let's put it on a stand. Let me show you how to build this thing. So the first thing you want to do, you want to open up all those posts. All right. Once they're all open, you take your coil, shove it in from the bottom. And your coil is going to look something like that, right? It's going to look a little out of joint. What you want to do is you kind of want to hold it in place. And you might want to get a coiling rod to do that. You might want to just like get a coiling rod and hold it right where you want it, right? Just like that, right? Get a coiling rod, hold it into place, make sure it's right above that airflow, right? Then while you're holding it in place, take your hex driver and just tighten it down. Don't go crazy. Give it a nice tightening just like so. And now with your coiling rod in place, you can make your coiling adjustments. But look how easy that was. Look how perfectly installed that was, and look how easy that was. I mean, crazy easy to build on, right? Now, what you want to do is you just take your leads, and you just give them a haircut right on top here. Boom. Pull them forward a little bit. Get that flush cutter in there. Boom. Haircut. One side already installed. Now we're going to turn it around, and we're going to repeat the process, okay? Now we're all built. Check that out, huh? Kind of neat, right? really really easy to do let's see what we're roaming out at 0.13 that might come up a little bit all right now here's one thing that's kind of annoying right with this rdta is that you really can't you really can't stroke the coils you got to kind of do them one at a time you can't stroke them at the same time which is kind of annoying but whatever man it's no big deal it's so easy to build if it takes a couple of extra seconds to get the hot spots out, who cares? You know, that's the way I feel about it, right? Get all the hot spots out. Now it looks to be glowing evenly from the inside out. All right, now we're going to take this thing, and I'm going to show you how to wick it up. So now we're going to take a nice long piece of cotton because we're wicking for two coils, all right? We're going to make it nice and pointy on one end. Give it a nice little point so we can get it through the coil. We're going to pop that point right through, just like so. Nice resistance. You hear that? That's exactly how you want it. And now, how you want to cut a cotton on an RDTA in general is go right down to where the glass starts. 
right there. Get your vape shears and give it a snip. Same thing on the other side. Go down to where that metal starts. Get your vape shears. Pop it right off. Just like that. Now we're going to repeat the process on the other side. There we go. All built and wicked. Maybe the other side's a little longer. We'll pull it out a little bit, even it out a little bit, but absolutely perfect right there, right? Now, this is the reason I really love these scissors, the vape shears. They're nice and pointy, and I don't have to go around switching tools out, right? What I can do is I can just take them and tuck them in with the points of the scissor. See? That's why I love the vape shears. Not only are they great scissors that cut great, but they're great for placing your wicks. Same thing on this side. Pop that cotton in there, just like so. And you see, you see how it kind of peeks out? That's how it should be. Kind of peeks out, that's how you want it. And that's it, it's all built and wicked. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to juice this thing up. So now what you wanna do, I'm gonna be using some That One Vapes Apricot Custard. Now what you wanna do is you wanna wet that coil, wet that cotton up, get it started do the same thing on the other side get the cotton started kind of paint it up a little bit right and then right here is your fill port right so you want to stick your bottle in there give it a squeeze nice squeeze until you see it coming out the other end you're gonna watch over here there you go now it's all filled up maybe juice that cotton a little more okay get it started and let's see if we got vape oh yeah we have vape there we go now like I said the nice thing about this RDTA is that it locks the barrel into place let me show you what I'm talking about see that it locks that barrel right into place the coils are right in front of the airflow now we're gonna lock this down boom boom and now let me show you how the airflow works see how the airflow works independently I can shut down the top I can shut down the bottom if I want to right see that I can open up the top see the see the honeycomb I can do it in any combination that I would like I could open up the bottom halfway a little bit if I want some more air just be forewarned, this is an extremely airy RDTA. All right? One last look at it all put together. Let's go over those cons and pros. We're going to start off with cons as usual. First con is going to be, man, this thing's got way, and I mean way too much mm -hmm. airflow. You airflow hogs are going to love it. But, man, I got the side and the bottom open. I mean, it's like breathing. Listen to this. I mean, there's like literally no restriction. The only restriction you get is all that metal in the deck. I mean, it's, it's incredible. You airflow hogs are going to love it. You people who like flavor probably aren't going to like that end of the spectrum of the airflow because it's going to dilute the flavor. Another con is going to be that short drip tip. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of that short drip tip. It's beautiful, but I just wish it was a little longer. Staying on the short drip tip theme, you're going to get some bacon lips on this one if you mm -hmm. build low and chain vape. And let me explain why. I said it before. There's a lot of metal inside this RDTA. I think it heats up the Addy unusually higher as opposed to most RDTAs. So if you chain vape this thing at like 95, 100 watts, that top cap's gonna get hot and you're gonna get some bacon lips, baby. Another con's gonna be on the side airflow, right? When you adjust the airflow, it's very, very hard to see those holes close mm -hmm. up. I wish they would have made the cutout part on the top cap a different color so I can see what I'm adjusting here. Another con I gotta throw up just because it's a Thunderhead Creations atomizer, and I hate doing this, but I gotta be honest with my subs. They don't have the best distribution. Mm -hmm. They make great products. I love their Solo RDA. I think the One 
RTA is one of the, is the best single coil RTA on the market right now. The problem is every time you order, you got to order from China. Nobody really has their stuff in the States. Hopefully Thunderhead Creations fixes that and gets some distribution in the States. Let's go Thunderhead Creations. And the last con is going to be the fill port, right? You kind of got to like angle your bottle in there. I wish there was a little bit more space. Actually, in this case, I probably would have liked some type of side fill. All right. But otherwise, real, real nitpicky stuff. Not a lot of stuff that's a deal breaker. Let's move on to the pros. First pro is going to be, man, the packaging. The packaging on this, I love the way Thunderhead Creations packages stuff. They do a bang up job with it. Next pro is gonna be that wide airflow range. This thing's got a super wide airflow range. You can go from a really restrictive DL, almost a mouth to lung, to a wide open airy vape. The range on this thing is phenomenal. I like that innovative deck, that Y shaped deck, that reverse drop style deck. Awesome job, Thunderhead Creations. It's got some nice build quality. It's super, super easy to build and wick. It's squonkable. You airflow hogs are gonna love this thing. This thing's got gobs and gobs of airflow. You get tons of extras, right? You get, you get all the O-rings, right? You get a uh, 510 drip tip adapter. You get four different 510s. Thunderhead Creations did a great job giving you extras. You get the extension kit, the little pipe, the glass. Awesome, awesome job. It's got nice flavor. This has got really, really good flavor, in fact. The way that I like to run it the best is I shut the bottom airflow off completely, and then I shut the top airflow of the side airflow, and I get banging flavor on this thing. And you guys know I'm really not an RDTA guy. Let me show you what I'm working with here, though. I'm at 0.1 at 100 watts. I got some apricot custard in here. Let me show you. Fully saturated, very dense, very flavorful. I, I got to tell you, this is probably my favorite RDTA that I've ever tried. It's, it's up there, man. It's fantastic. And if you open up that airflow, that wide open airflow, and you crank some more wattage through this thing, this thing is a massive cloud chucker. I like the capacity and the fact that you get two different capacities. The airflow on this, the airflow on this is smooth. I got the top row of the side airflow shut, bottom airflow shut. Check it out. It's just nice and smooth, man. I thought all that metal in there was gonna create some turbulence. It's pretty smooth. A little bit, little bit on the noisy side, but I expect that with an RDTA. Let's put this through our five-star rating system. First category is the looks category. I think it's got a real solid look to it. I love running it on the carbon in shorty mode. It's available in a bunch of different colors, and it's got some really nice build quality to it. In this category, we're going to give it a solid four stars. In the building and wicking category, I love the innovative deck. I've said it before, it's like a reverse drop style deck where you give it a haircut on top. I'm digging that. I like the fact that coil placement is very easy, extremely easy to wick. I think it's a great build deck, especially for somebody who's never built before. It's super easy to build on. In this category, I gotta give it four and a half stars. One of the biggest scores I've ever given any atomizer in this category. As far as performance goes, it's gonna score high again. I told you guys, it's one of my favorite RDTAs ever, and I'm not an RDTA guy. I'm more of an RTA, RDA guy. But I love using this in shorty mode as a squonker. I get banging flavor. If I want to chuck weather systems, I just open up that airflow and let it fly, baby. We're going to give this four and a half stars in the performance category. Another really high score. As far as value goes, I've been seeing it anywhere from $21 to $28. Now, the problem with this is... If you're gonna get it on the cheap side, you're gonna have to order it from China. You're probably gonna have to wait. But I'm telling you, this one is worth the wait. However, I can't ding them 
because you got to order it from China. I feel bad dinging them on distribution. I still think it's a good value, ultimately. The thing that sucks is you're probably going to have to wait for it. But if you can get it for under $30, it's a really good value with a high-quality vape on an RDTA. I got to give it another four and a half stars. We're going to take all these stars. We're going to add them up and come up with a total of 17 and a half stars. We're going to take these 17 and a half stars. We're going to divide it by four, and we're going to come up with a total score of 4.375. And I got to tell you, I was a little shocked when I saw this score, mainly because I really don't hand out high scores, and this is one of the highest scores I've ever given an atomizer, but I want to put it in perspective. It's a high score for an RDTA, so just keep that in mind as well when you're looking at the score. Let's go over some of the specs on the Thunderhead Creations Max RDTA. It measures in at 25 millimeters in diameter and 44 millimeters high. It has a Y-shaped build deck with a 32-hole honeycomb side airflow. Two or 4.5 ml capacities are available. In shorty mode, it's 2 mLs. In big boy mode, it's 4.5 mLs. It is a squonkable RDTA that is available in black, gunmetal, rainbow, blue, gold, and stainless steel. Don't forget, insiders, head on over to our Facebook group. Very civil, very newbie friendly, very active. We would love to see you there. We also started a brand new Reddit subforum. I'd like to see you there as well. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. In the meantime, you keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.